Today marks two months since I have been on the keyboard joystick. So today we are going through the last month of clips and I'm gonna show you guys what I do wrong in this video. And I'm gonna tell you how I can improve. So then maybe I can show you guys what I do wrong and you can improve yourself. But before we do that, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, it is literally free. And also, guys, I've recently got a 240 hertz monitor, so I'm going to show you my reaction to playing on that for the first time. So here it is. All right, boys, so this is going to be my first test of 240 hertz, finally. It took me ages, I know. By the way, guys, leave your epic name in the comments below, and I'll choose one person to add. Wait the two days until I can gift, and then gift you whatever you want in the store. You can just message me, whisper me after I've added you, join my party, whatever, and I will gift you anything in the store that you desire. Anyway, let's jump into... I'm gonna go Panville 1v1s and we're gonna try 240 Hertz for the first time. Actually, that's a little bit of a lie. I've played on 240 Hertz before, but I was on control and I was terrible at the game. So it didn't even matter because I was horrible. I, I couldn't even tell the difference. So now that I'm decent and on keyboard and mouse, let's see if I can tell the difference or not. I think I'm going to be able to. I actually, I'm probably gonna have to turn up that. 240 hertz okay now we're actually capped 240 fps on 240 hertz let's see what this feels like okay i'm about to move around let's see if this feels any different at all i definitely feel a difference a hundred percent everything looks so much smoother i was on 165 before this so we've gone up like 80 fps or 80 hertz 80 whatever whatever you want to call it we've gone up like 80 this feels so much smoother i'm gonna pick up some guns we're gonna build and see if it feels better okay i'm nervous oh my god yes it definitely feels better it a hundred percent feels better it feels like i'm slower I can't explain it. Does that make sense? It feels like my character's slower and I can get more in. Oh my god. This feels nice. Holy. Oh my god. Bro, look at me go. Oh my god. This feels so nice. Oh my god. This feels so good. Oh my god. It feels like my character's slower. I can't explain it. It feels like... I know that's probably what it does, so I can like kind of see more, if that makes sense. But it feels like my character's slower, and I can do so much more before I get... Like, even with like the triple edits. I keep saying like, 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 like. But with the triple edits, it feels like I'm getting like here by the time I'm done. It feels like I'm further back before I get there. If that makes any sense at all. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's how it feels in my brain. It feels like the game is sort of slower. This is crazy. Oh my god. Let's see how many quad edits we can do in a row. Boys, we are cooking right now. That was quite a few in a row. That was a fair few in a row. We are cooking. This is crazy. This is so much better than 165 hertz. On God, this is so much better. Alrighty, guys. I cannot remember what order I put these clips in. I know they're from earliest to latest, and right here you see a little bit of piecey piece, but a bit average. That peak right there was way too open. I don't know why I did that. That's one thing I need to learn to do. Oh my god, look at my snipes. That is one thing I need to learn to do, is to not do silly edits. I do them all the time. I get overconfident and open up some stupid edit and get absolutely rinsed. I do it all the time. This snipe here is crazy. I'm the goat. You already know that. Oh, this clip too. This clip is... I'm low-key... I'm hitting a bit of a trick shot here. Like, get a... I, that's pretty good. Get a load of that. Anyway, like I was saying, constant silly edits from me, I believe. And also, I'm way too cocky with snipers. 
constantly thinking I can out snipe someone else. I do it all the time. But nine times out of ten, I'm winning the snipe off. But that one time, I'm losing. Like, I, I've got to be one of the best snipers in the game. Ask anyone. Like, look at this snipe right here. Have you ever seen anyone do this? No. No, you, you've never seen anyone do that before. I keep getting distracted. I'm seeing my clips back and I just want to yap. This clip right here was really nice. I, I, There was no bad peak. That window edit was probably a little bit risky, but I did that well. This here's another really nice clip. Crack him for 100. Go up. Edit down. Cone. One thing I notice about myself too when I watch clips back is I'm very shaky. If you watch when I'm close to someone up in their face, I'm extremely shaky. So that's something I definitely need to work on being on mouse is not being so shaky close up. When I'm not close up, it's all right. It's just when I'm really, really in their face, I think I actually get extremely nervous. This clip here could have been awesome. Watch the fumble of the century, ladies and gentlemen. Like... And then I just grabbed the... Why, why did I grab the back and try and edit? What was I trying to do? I think maybe in my brain I thought I'm going to one-pump him GG's, but that was not the case at all. This clip here is another nice one. One thing I would say about getting better at the game is have confidence in yourself. Obviously, don't be overconfident, but I probably shouldn't be doing snazzy edits like that, but I do it anyway. Because we're in public match right now. It doesn't matter. The win, if all you want to do is improve at the game, in my opinion, the win does not matter at all. Just improve on your mechanics. Get better at the game. Don't worry about the win. Get stylish. Do cool things. Don't worry about the win. This right here is more proof that I'm the best sniper in the world. One headshot, two headshots. Easy as that. I am crazy. Okay, now I'm going to explain some goods and some bads about the joystick. Considering I've been on it for two months now, so you'd think I would know what's good and what's bad. I'm going to start off with the bads, okay. First bad, the joystick constantly moves. I'm, I'm literally holding the joystick in place. By sitting my audio mixer on top of the cord next to my... Why can I not think of the word keyboard? I've said this three times and I can't think of the word keyboard. It's sitting next to my keyboard. It's really clunky. The hand rest is awesome, very comfortable, but I just don't think it stays there well enough. I feel like every single time I get onto the game, I'm readjusting the joystick again. For whatever reason, I can never get I can never get it in the right spot. Another bad thing I would say, this could just be me and how I rest my fingers. But after about, I'm going to sound extremely nerdy here, but after about six hours of gaming, I feel like after a long gaming session, my finger definitely does hurt. It never hurts the next day. It's never not, it's never in pain. That's not the right word. I just feel like, I just feel like it's in a bit of pain at the end of a long gaming session. But like I said, that could be how I rest my fingers. Those are probably the only negatives I've got. I haven't had any other issues. The only other issue I had was it felt extremely responsive. But that's just because I'm dumb. And from when I played on controller, my dead zones were really low. So the dead zones went over to the joystick. So basically, I wouldn't even touch the joystick and it would start moving. But now I made the dead zones a little bit higher. So that isn't an issue at all. That was, that was just me. That's all that was. That's not an issue. That's just me being stupid. Now onto the goods. As, I, as I've said, the last two joystick progressions, or three, however many it's been. The optimal binds. The greatest thing ever. I, I'm telling you guys this, I was on keyboard for over a year maybe, and in this two months, I am better than what I was on keyboard, 110%. That could be because I put in more time and effort because I was excited about the joystick, I'm not sure, but I am definitely, if I went in a 1v1 with myself on keyboard for a year compared to me on joystick for two months, 100% I'm getting flogged if I'm just on keyboard. 100%. It just feels like with the joystick, there's so much freedom. I haven't had any issues with the joystick. No connection issues, no cord issues, no anything like that. It has been perfect. The only other thing I would recommend is a control freak or some sort of grip, something like that. Because without that, 
it's pretty slippery, I'm not going to lie. But that's probably all I can say about the joystick. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you are planning on getting a joystick, I would highly recommend it. It's definitely worth it. They're an amazing product. The company, the guy that runs it is really nice. He has commented on my videos before. He's extremely friendly. I would recommend getting one 100%. Like I always say though, guys, if you are new here, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is. Peace. Oh my god.